ever wondered about the future of sustainable energy? Have you heard of geologic hydrogen? As the world voraciously seeks new, clean energy sources, an unconventional player has entered the arena. Enter geologic hydrogen, a compelling frontier in the quest for sustainable energy. But what sets geologic hydrogen apart from the rest? Well, unlike conventional hydrogen production methods that involve electrolysis or steam methane reforming, geologic hydrogen is born from the very crust of our Earth. This intriguing process is driven by several geological phenomena, ultimately generating hydrogen that could potentially be harnessed as a clean energy carrier. The question of whether geologic hydrogen production can be viable on a large scale is a central puzzle that researchers are keen to solve. Unraveling the mysteries of geologic hydrogen could revolutionize our approach to sustainable energy production. But how does it work? Producing geologic hydrogen is an intriguing process, tapping into the vast reservoirs beneath Earth's surface. The process of geologic hydrogen production is a fascinating journey into the depths of our planet, where mineral-rich formations and geological phenomena come together to create this potential energy source. Let's delve into the details. The creation of geologic hydrogen, or natural hydrogen, as it's often called, begins deep within Earth's crust. Here, geological formations rich in minerals like iron and uranium play a pivotal role. These minerals interact with their surroundings through processes such as serpentinization and radiolysis, leading to the release of natural hydrogen. Serpentinization is a process that involves reactions between ultramafic formations, such as peridotite and hot groundwater. This interaction gives birth to hydrogen along with other byproducts. On the other hand, radiolysis involves energy released from the radioactive decay of elements that are present in high radioactivity rocks. This energy splits groundwater molecules to generate hydrogen. In some instances, it's believed that natural hydrogen originates from the Earth's core or mantle. While reaching these depths is a formidable challenge, certain natural hydrogen sources have been attributed to these deep-seated origins. Additionally, shifts in the in-situ stress regime in tectonically active areas can lead to earthquakes, fault reactivations, and the release of natural hydrogen in subsurface fractures and faults. However, like all good things, the production of geologic hydrogen is not without its challenges. The extraction process, for instance, requires sophisticated techniques to tap into subsurface reservoirs and capture the released hydrogen. Additionally, the economic viability of large-scale geologic hydrogen production is yet to be ascertained. Moreover, there are environmental aspects to consider. The drilling process may have an impact on the environment and the release of hydrogen during certain geological processes needs to be better understood to ensure safe extraction. While it's clear that geologic hydrogen holds great potential, extracting it from beneath the Earth's surface is a complex task. But with ongoing research and advancements in technology, we might just be on the brink of unlocking a new sustainable energy source. Several countries have recognized the possibilities of geologic hydrogen, and are investing in its research and development. Among these nations, Mali has made a significant stride with an accidental discovery of natural hydrogen in the village of Burakebugu. The hydrogen was found during routine water well drilling and has since transformed into a sustainable energy source for the local community. Further afield, Australia is also making headway in this frontier. The country has given the green light for investors to explore potential sources of natural hydrogen. The focus is on Australia's unique geological formations, particularly those containing iron and uranium, known to release hydrogen through processes like serpentinization and radiolysis. But the pursuit of geologic hydrogen isn't restricted to these two countries. The United States, Russia, the Philippines, Brazil, Oman and Turkey are also venturing into this domain, developing extraction techniques and conducting extensive research. Now, let's dive a bit into how this extraction works. The process involves tapping into subsurface reservoirs and capturing the released hydrogen. The techniques used largely depend on the geological processes responsible for hydrogen generation. For example, the serpentinization process involves reactions between ultramafic formations 
such as peridotite, and hot groundwater. This reaction releases natural hydrogen, along with other byproducts. In other instances, natural hydrogen can be a byproduct of the energy released from the radioactive decay of elements present in high radioactivity rocks. This process, known as radiolysis, splits groundwater molecules to generate hydrogen. In some cases, natural hydrogen is believed to originate from the Earth's core or mantle. While drilling to these depths is challenging, certain natural hydrogen sources have been attributed to these deep-seated origins. Geologic hydrogen, with its challenges and potential, opens a new frontier in our pursuit of sustainable energy sources. As research and exploration continue, who knows what exciting possibilities we might uncover next?